How are you doing and how have you been? My name's Tazastico, and welcome back to the best damn game around. And just as we're about to hit a drought, which is going to be very interesting considering we've like flooded all this. I wonder how that's going to translate. Um, so yeah, last time out we had some um, damn problems, shall we say. So hopefully that's all behind us. I'm just checking the river as we're going down. What have I done? I don't know what I've done. I've created my own drought. Okay, the water's coming down. We just need to follow it down. Well, the drought is literally hitting. Has hit, but we can hold all the water in here. So we're going to have the ability to sort of like let it go as we want. We might make Mega Dam even bigger in all honesty. How's the district up here going? Yeah, it's rocking it, isn't it? Um, they're just bored down here. I probably could get some science buildings down here, in all honesty. Pause. I could get two there, and then they can get them up. That'd be quite good. We are planning on getting a bigger dam down here just to stop any potentially flooding problems due to my um, neptitude. It's probably the right way to say that, isn't it? Two seconds and I'll just sort out the audio. Okay, sorry about that. Audio sorted. Um, so, with that being said, so we'll control the water and just let it go as and when we can. Have the science buildings. They're getting built up there, so that's cool. We could do... We could actually build over here a forester's place. Build it here, then we could actually grow some trees over here. Just to make it a little bit more viable for this district in general. Because we're stockpiling a lot. I know there's trees up here and whatnot, but it'd be nice to make this a little bit more like a functioning city rather than like a little village. How are we doing for water? I mean, pretty amazing so far, let's be honest. Right, so that's going to start getting built now. We could also have a little industry down here as well. We will probably have to use something like the windmills, though. So it'll be interesting to see how that they work. Right, river's still doing okay. Obviously no power or anything, but that's fine. We have got the woodcutters up here. How many unemployed workers have we got? We've got 14 unemployed workers. Beehive. Boost the growth of nearby crops. Like all the decorations. All decorative. What about monuments? What do they do? Farmer monument. We need a thousand science though, which we do not have. Water pump. That could be interesting, a water pump. Just wondering, there's a way to flood all this. wonder if there's a way to just like blow up everything with dynamite and I suppose that's the next big thing getting that right the river's okay the forester's hut is not getting working on let's put that on double green I don't really know yeah there's no unemployed workers over here I beg your pardon I think here there's 14. 
So, are we building this? Yes, we are. Right, two woodcutter stations here. Once this gets up, which we're only waiting for materials now. Which is probably we're waiting for all the planks to actually get brought through. So that's why a little bit of industry over here wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. So what we could actually do is mark these trees to get destroyed. And maybe we have some windmills up here and some plank making stuff. Could honestly do that around here. Because yeah, oh we're waiting for gears. Pine resin. This is the wrong building. Science. Yeah, just this one. There we go. We can get three of them there. So we can put people to work. Need two more planks. What is this? There's logs. Scrap metal logs. Okay. Right, so we're queuing up a lot of things. It's just obviously a small little town. Um, I'm very tempted. Let's get a builder's hut. We get a hauling post as well. Okay, so let's get them to work over here. The river is going down a lot as we can see. So this will pull down to one. So that's going to let that come down this dam over here we will pull to one as we can see all the water's coming out then we pour some more in hopefully this is the correct way to do this and there's not going to be any flooding we should be okay obviously we're holding all the water over there so that's great let's go back over to the district there we go Nothing to do in range where well, we are going to plant lots of trees. So, how far does this actually quite far? So, let's get oak. Right, there we go, oak. Then we'll get some birch there. Some pine. Yeah. Alright, then that's a good little area then that we can get some trees on. Not tons, but enough where we can actually make something work. Okay, all the water from here is going now. Which isn't great for us. But the priority is the main city slash district. But all the water's flowing through here. That one will still control it. Okay, we're getting a bit of flooding, so that needs to go up. Just as we get used to manually controlling this water with the dam. Which I think we do a damn good job of it. So could we get... I'm wondering with this... Oh, 5,000 science points. I wonder if we can get a pump to pump the water out of that. And then create something where we fertilise this. Interesting. Or we need to smash this river so it goes into here. But we've got a big reservoir of water here that we're obviously not benefiting from. Yeah, we're just struggling to get the resources over here. Could queue up some stuff. Windmill large. Uh, I think we're fine with just the little one. So would like to get some plank making stuff up over here. Lumbar. Lumbar. The 
then we'll go one. Just one for the time being. bring the path down there. We got a windmill there so we can get two lumber places there. Still want to get all these deconstructed. We probably... How many if I click on this? Right, let's get four workers up. Because the problem is they're going to be stuck on the dam over here. So we're up to four workers here. Then we have 12 free beavers yeah that's where the problem is a lot of the works going on this dam up here which i'm fine with because then it does safe proof the colony and that is the priority do we need more i think we need a couple more beavers in here in all honesty so for housing Let's get some more beavers. Because I think we're okay. Even food-wise, we're fine. I will need to get some stairs, but I'll just bring them over here, which is probably, actually, can do even better, even better party people. Thing. So we're getting loads more beavers now. And then give them access to all that. Because food-wise, we're fine. Food-wise, we're more than okay at, like, 2.8k. And water, we're okay, but we'll just make sure we um, bump that up as we go. Actually, that lasted so long. Using all that. Right, now we need to make sure this goes back up. Because we're about to come out the drought. There we go. And the water's about to flow back in. So we need to make sure the dams are at the right level. Otherwise, everything is just going to flood. I think that's the right level. We're about to find out. Carrots potatoes okay yeah the housing's going up all that's going up we have the wood for it although wood funny enough is actually going down we'll get all that over there so at least they're going to be cutting i'm not quite sure why all that isn't getting oh yeah because they're prioritizing the the dam all right the drought was ending so now we just keep Keep an eye on the dam just so we make sure we've got the right level for it as we see the water flow down. But yeah, it is going to be a case of get to dynamite so then we can start blowing holes everywhere because then we can blast this. This can then flood. Oh no, I don't know if we want that. But it's like the amount of area that we can't use. Well, this game did make me realise how actually important beavers are to, like, the ecosystem. It's actually quite crazy. I know, obviously, they don't build stuff to this degree, but it's weird to think. But there we go. Flood all this. Perfect. I'm just keeping an eye on the flooding up here and this dam. It seems to be working perfectly. Obviously, this dam's a bit OTT, but that's just in case I make a mistake. At least then we haven't got to worry about this district going down. Then the water should build up and build up and then flow through here. So it does mean we have to wait a little bit longer. Fingers crossed. Mm, 
trust the process. Oh no, it looks like it's going up. Right? Does that look like it's going up? Hey, yes it does. Love it. And that comes in. This down controls the water. There we go. That looks very good to me. Very, very nice. How far have we got to go for dynamite? Remind me where dynamite is. Metal. And oh, that's a mine. Power. I can't remember where dynamite is. Path structures. Landscaping. Dynamite. Explosive factories. So we need paper to build that. We need metal blocks. So we're actually making metal blocks. I can't actually remember. Smelter. Yes, we've got two smelters there. So where is the stockpile for our metal blocks there? So we are actually making them very, very slowly. It must be, might be added. And then this is the paper. Where is paper getting stored? Doesn't actually look like I've got a stockpile for... So let me bring a path around here. Pause. Medium warehouse. I imagine they're going to be stored in here. Okay, we are storing paper somewhere. It's there. Okay. So paper is being stored. So that's okay. How are we doing for planks? Ten planks. Oh, not good. So how many workers have we got free over here? None. So, the other district we need to turn into a bit of a industry powerhouse. Nothing to do in range. Okay, we can grow trees up here. So, do some pine. There we go. Then we'll set this all to be cut. Get a path up here. Stairs there. So then we can set all this to be cut. I don't think it's all in range, but it's the fort that counts, right? Right, all that to be cut. Cool, cool, cool. Got loads of stuff being planned to be built over here. We've got 10 people that are not working over here. What are we waiting for over here is planks. Okay, over here they have like no wood. Right, obtain, build a hauling post. Okay, build a hauling post, then we can designate some people to bring in materials, I guess. Because actually that district's having a hard time. This district is living the absolute dream. District number one. Right, you over here. Why are you just sitting there? It's because the log... So I'm going to go storage... Right, I'm going to click that there. This can be where logs go. Add some more spread out storage. It's probably not the worst thing in the world. There we go. Now they're going to store all the wood there.
Okay, so. We're getting all that ready because then dynamite can be on the card. So I would like to blow up some stuff in all honesty. We just need to get lumber being built a little bit better. Okay, that's flooding up there, which isn't ideal, is it? Okay, so with that flooding... Let's get that built, that built, just so this district isn't under any pressure. Because everything else is running... That hasn't been built yet. I wonder if we can get it built. Just to make sure we're controlling this weather flow. Water flow even. Nope, that's not how that works, Taz us to go. Show me steps. Oh, there we go. And that comes up there, so, like, can we build it from there? Guess we're about to find out. Well, they're coming to um, do it anyway, and there are some trees up here that we can cut in the meantime as well, I guess. So I'll just put that there. I'll just put one, one there, get rid of that, there we go, and then build a path up to that one. We don't need to worry about going too, too crazy here, although do need to obviously be careful wood-wise. It's more this district was struggling with the wood. Right, this stockpile just needs to bring in wood. Or am I stopping wood from coming in? Is that me being silly? Always import. Okay, that's me. That's my fault. Me messing with settings there. So actually, if I take that off, that should sort that out. Right, I'd like this dam to be properly built and finished, and they are bringing wood there now, funny enough. So what I will do... Right, there we go. So then we've got a big old bridge that comes across. We can get both sides of the dam up, control this water a lot better. Which I think we can all agree is beneficial. Okay. Okay, so Woods is obviously hard pressed at the moment. Getting the dam over here, which is nice. Everything's going okay. Okay, more stuff up here is getting built now. Perfect, perfect, perfect. The science places. How many workers are free? No free beavers over here. Um, oh, oh, okay. I panicked then. I clicked here, looked up at the food and was like, oh, we're struggling. Um, we're struggling for Spadadoc. Really struggling with Spider Dock. Obviously, we are sending it over to the other place as well. Spadadox. So, over here, let's come over here. Let's get another farmhouse. Just 
just having a look where the green zone's going. So if I go there, that's probably going to be the biggest green zone that we can get. And then we can grow much more Spadadoc and hopefully... Because that's pretty much just going over here. Obviously, they need to do some food themselves. So we are going to have to think of a way to bring water in. That mechanical water pump is an option. It would have been interesting if there was like more than one river that came in. So I feel like we're in an area that we would probably want to just flood. Perhaps. If I deconstruct that, I can turn that on, that on, and then all them will be cut. Yeah, they're all going to get cut now. If I pause... Want to build this in such a way that we can still move around it. There we go. Right, there we go. Then all that at the top can get cut as well. So that's perfect because these are oak. So that's like eight wood par or eight logs par. So that's actually quite good. Uh, what's going on down here? Oh no, Mega Dam has failed me! Pause. This is why I need that dam up. So let's double priority that. Come on. I'm watching the construction over on the top right. Waiting for materials because now district is going to get deleted. We've got our bridge coming over here so then we can control this. Because the problem is we're backing the water up so much here now. That obviously it's being encouraged more to flood, as we can see, everything over here. Which is fine. We don't mind that. But we need this district up now. Right. There we go. So that should put an end to that. Question mark. We've now created a lake. Which. Right. Let's go power. Hopefully we can get rid of this. Yeah, we've been a bit naughty. Okay, how many workers have we got free here? We've got four free workers over here. That is... Needs more power. Okay, wood is coming in. That needs to get built. This flood is not going away, is it? But we might have to wait for a drought or something, perhaps? Water... Okay, water is not coming in. Why is water not coming in? This district is in all sorts of trouble, isn't it? I feel like this is going away because that bit up there has gone away. Right, a drought is incoming. Try and up the workers in here as well. There we go, there we go, all done. Doesn't mean I can plant trees all down here.
Oh, I can plant them all the way down. What were we planting? Uh, we'll swap it. Did we do maple? No, we'll do some maple then. Right, there we go. More trees. And some more oak just behind here. Right, there we go. So lots and lots of trees are going down here, which pretty much means our log production is going to be amazing forever. Forever? Forever, ever. Right, we've got the aquatic center over here. So we're going to plant crops. Little spadarok. There we go. Also means we can come down here. I think it was from there. Yeah, perfect, perfect, perfect. So then we can get more of that growing, hopefully more of that cooking. We might need another grill. So the spatter dock is full, but grilled spatter dock is not. So we could probably do with another grill to just help help offset that. So let's come down here to food. So let's come down here to assume grill is the best. Yeah. All right, can I rotate this? Yes, I can. See if I push that there. Get another grill there. How are we doing with, like, potatoes and stuff? So get that there. You're going to be grilled spatter dock. Already built. We're going to get some stairs. Is here the best place? Probably. Let's get some stairs there. And we'll get a platform that goes all the way down here. And then I'm going to get another grill up here as well. How are we doing for workers and whatnot? Got 12 unemployed workers. Carrots. Can we do anything with carrots here? Grilled carrots? Is that a thing? No. Okay, so we could probably grow some more potatoes. So here's the farmhouse. So we're going to grow crops. Let's grow a load more potatoes. Because then we can start doing more grilled potatoes. So I am going to come over here. Get another grill up here. And then this grill will do grilled potatoes. So we've got loads of stuff. We're like just cooking up a storm over here. No access. Wait. Uh, oh, okay, yeah. Sorry. There's the path there. There we go. So then there's access to that. So we're growing there. That's absolutely fine. In here is then grilled potatoes, grilled spatter dock, grilled spatter dock. Oh no, that's normal spatter dock. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So let's make another storage facility. Medium warehouse plump. And we're going to put... Because what we don't want is spatter dock just not being harvested and brought in. So we'll bring that platform over there, put a path on top. Because what I don't want to be happening is it's just like we've actually got loads, and I actually think this is the problem that we've got, is we've got loads of spatter dock in the river, but there's no room in the stockpiles for it actually to be hauled over. So therefore it's then stopping it getting from the other district. Drought's about to hit. We're having a good time. Awesome. If you got this part of the video, leave a like, leave a sub, leave a comment. And I'll catch you next time, party people. Bye.